안녕하세요 You're listening to Four from On One podcast. Welcome back to Four from On One podcast. This is Giovanni in the house. Today it is a full house. We have four. That's right, four speakers in today's episode. We do have a guest, my good friend Jeffrey. Say hello, Jeffrey. Hello, how's it going? Thank you for having me. Wow. So hello, Jeffrey. <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> Hello, Along、Jeffrey. with myself and Jeffrey, we have two other co-hosts of Four from On One Podcast, Keith and Hyuk Jun. Hyuk Jun coming in from the office, if you can't tell already. <laughs> how you guys? How you guys doing? All right, everybody's、and、good. Yeah, I'm guessing this、good. is this is not a sponsored video, right? No, no, this is not.、Uh, yeah, please、this、make sure. <laughs> I don't think so. Samsung commercial pops out, <laughs> <laughs> and a word from our sponsors. All right. So today we are actually going to talk about、uh, a couple things.、Um, looking at the first topic, let's just kind of recap our weekend. We actually had a lengthy three-day weekend, as we mentioned in the previous episode. It was Memorial Day here in South Korea, giving thanks to all those people in the military personnel who have laid down their lives to preserve the democratic and free country that we reside in today. So thank you for those, and those who are currently serving here, we forever are in your debt. Yeah, well done. Moving on. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been drinking a little bit just to kind of practice that. <laughs> so three day weekend.、Yeah. Who would like to go first? Yeah, Hokjun, go. You're the Korean.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right.、Um, well, actually, my my whole weekend was all about the baseballs. Like I went to.、Um, Uh, two baseball games and one、mm-hmm. baseball practice. Oh, really? And actually, I I、um, I was trying to go to Bukhansan, which is the、uh, tallest mountain around the Seoul area. Yeah, that's But, right.、Um, I got lazy. <laughs> Naturally, <laughs> and, I, I, and then and then I hiked the、uh, Namsan instead. But um, it took me like、uh, two and a half hour to go around. Whole mountain, so um, so it took you two hours. So you did the really like long way around, like the slow, because if you go direct, it's a lot faster. Yeah, I would have just taken a bus. <laughs> yeah, like, that's true. But the, like the I, I'm, not, straight I'm not up. climbing up. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, he didn't go up. up. He just walked around it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but、uh-huh. um, it um, it's not the uh pavement.、Uh-huh. So inside、like、of Namsan, yeah, it has a like tulekil. In Korean, it's、mm. uh, like round、uh, trail. Yeah, yeah,、mm. yeah. So it's、uh, great. Because I've only ever done it like walking up is this this the staircase that you also come straight back down.、Uh, mm-hmm. I would hope、long. so. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. take that long. It is quite <laughs> hard to walk up. It's only like twenty minutes, thirty minutes to walk up those stairs. Is、uh, it is yeah, is hiking like your hobby? Is that something you like to do a lot on the weekend? Samsung.、Uh, <laughs> so you do have a sponsor now. I I feel like this is like one of those dating shows. Like, uh, guest number one.、Uh, what do you like to do? The- <laughs> It's good.、Uh, yeah,、oh, I serious, like to do, do play、It's、baseball,、like- and I love、uh-huh. to do a hiking and、oh, nice. little tipsiness on my life. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks for sharing. That was really nice. How、baseball. about you, Keith? Yeah, so yeah, go ahead. I also、yeah. get a bit lazy. Like I always plan to go either Suwon or Incheon this weekend, and Friday、mm-hmm. night I didn't go. Saturday I was like, oh, do I have to?、Get? I just couldn't get going.、And、then Sunday morning I just booked an accommodation, so I had to go. <laughs> so I went and I went to Suwon, but it was really slow. I didn't get to、mm-hmm. Suwon area till about three o'clock. No, a bit early, two o'clock. And I had to look. I wanted to watch. I just had this craving to go watch Jurassic Park, so I went to watch Jurassic、mm-hmm. Park at the Suwon、um, CGV near the stadium for the KT Wiz.、Mm-hmm. And I thought, all right, bang, I'll、mm-hmm. go to watch a movie. Then I go watch the baseball. The baseball was at five o'clock.、Oh, yeah. So、I'll、go watch the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Went to the baseball stadium. Sold out. Oh really? I couldn't get a ticket. Oh, and I could have.、Down. I could have got a ticket before I went to the cinema. But、oh, yeah, bit, that's true. It was a bit overcast, so I thought, oh, I just see if the weather's going to be okay and all that sort of stuff. It would have been awesome to go. See what happens if you have to change. And to be honest, Jurassic、yeah. Park was, in my opinion, very average. So I don't、Ooh. know. It was a bad call.、Ooh. But yeah,、um, yeah I stayed the night、okay. in Suwon. I got a good hotel in one of the drinking sections there. Everyone's pretty wasted, and I just had a few、yeah. drinks. And then the next day, I did the fortress and all the sights. 
around Suwon. That was pretty good. Yeah, I had a good weekend. Oh, I'm glad awesome. I got out. I'm glad I did something. I'm glad I didn't just stick around here all weekend. Way to be proactive, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it's going after a while. And summer's coming. Or summer's basically here, technically. But yeah, that's yeah. good to get out. Well, right, Jeffrey, go ahead. Jeffrey, what yeah, what's going on? Our guests. Uh, you like to I do? guess... I guess well, continuing on on your bad luck. Last week I had lost uh, my wallet oh, no. on Sunday. Oh, no. Yes, so I had yeah. I had plans to go to Busan for this long weekend, but the yeah. week before I lost my wallet walking home from McDonald's. No, of all yes, places. And the, no, and I wasn't even I wasn't even like right. drunk. I was tipsy, but not drunk yeah. enough to be losing my wallet. And I think yeah. I just had it in my hand, and I just must have let go. Well, no. I was FaceTiming and I was eating nuggets at the same time. So. <laughs> oh my God, multi But anywho, Man, so I, not good at that. I went the whole week like without a wallet and just kind of planning my You didn't try demise. to get it back? It no, I was yeah. I, like the next day I walked the path and asked every storefront and like the CUs and GS25s yeah. and then I went to the police station oh, Okay, yeah. nearby. Okay. There's two of them nearby and they were like, no. nah, we don't have anything and it's probably but, far, foreigner stole it, not a Korean. It's probably good. foreigner. <laughs> well, I was, I was thinking, but I was Maybe. like, ah, oh, not in Korea. I just felt like, not, felt like, not it, here. It, it, it could be like this. Not, not, not like this. <laughs> I've never, in six years, I've been here six years and I've never lost my wallet. Yeah. But anywho, one of the police stations was like, did you check the website? And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's a lost and found website in case you guys oh, wow. didn't know. Was it and it's, oh, wow. it's for like all of Korea. So I checked every day. It wasn't there. But on Friday, it popped up. What? It popped up. Wait. Someone someone Pop returned it to the police station. And yeah. the police station oh, uploads it. And they were like, down. first letter starts with a J. Last letter starts ends with a Y. Wow. And it's an E2 on. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh. So like on Friday, wow. I went. That's reclaimed awesome. it. Yeah, only no. in korea i reckon only yeah, in korea yeah. but I, I was too scared to go out this long weekend so i just i just relaxed in my house uh, <laughs> and was yeah. the cash super, there super all the cards all there was yeah. everything yeah. Every, oh yeah everything was there wow that's so lucky. Wow. Dude, I, I was like i was really down because i had my u.s debit cards my korean yeah. debit cards my that's korean license yeah it's not the cash it's my yeah. everything was placed yeah 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 everything, the ids everything. and cars yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you wow, got back, but, um, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me so, too. I was glad that you got thank your you, thank stuff you. back. But if you guys ever lose something, uh, yeah, there's a lost and found website for yeah. for the police stations. We and might they put upload that in everything. the link or something. That's good to know. Because I always heard yeah. that if Koreans find like a wallet or something, they take it to the police station. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's how that's how we taught from our school. So, yeah. that's really cool. And it, it could be anything. Like people post like headphones, jackets uh wallets keys like that's, anything that you might lose it's a good place to start good find that's mm -hmm. that's yeah that's great good so yeah, she actually lost Geo, her good find. She, <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna say like so she lost her wallet too she lost both her her phone and her wallet together because yeah. she actually oh. put it on the bottom of the baby's carriage and i guess when she was uh -huh. racing across the intersection it just bounced it out yeah it just mm -hmm. fell out and so she calls in for her mom's phone and it's just like, hey, I lost my phone and my wallet. And I was like, oh, my God. So I jump on the little app that tracks her site and I actually found the place where her phone was. But she heard me left mm -hmm. at the time. So when I, by the time I called my mother-in-law, I couldn't communicate with her saying, like, I, I have a map. I know where it is. But she didn't understand. So she just kind of retraced her steps, went back to the intersection, and somebody actually picked it up from the road and left it on the little rail. You know, those little yeah. rails that guard. Oh, you. my gosh. Yeah, they just, they just yeah, stacked yeah. it there just left it. She just the picked song. it up. Yeah, and just that was it. Like you said, only in Korea would they do that. Back home, forget about it. You never see it again. It'd be at a pawn shop in like 15 minutes. Yeah. You know? Dude, yeah. That's lucky. Yeah. All right, Jerry, give yeah, us your that's, story, that's mate. Next week. Ooh, what a, okay. All right. So, lot serious drama this weekend. So, remember how I told you that we were supposed to head towards Chun, Chunji? Forget it. I forget the name. Some farm. But we were, yeah. Some yeah. farm area to celebrate her mm -hmm. uh, uncle's 60th birthday. And if you didn't know, Korea, like the 60th birthday is like a big, a big deal. I feel mm -hmm. like anywhere that's true well her parents must have called us i should you not at least a dozen times that morning constantly telling her not to go don't come don't come it's gonna be hard for the baby right yeah to the point remember i kept telling you this sometimes it just feels like this with like in-laws especially korean in-laws you just kind of feel like suffocated like they're very like invasive they're always just on today. your back <laughs> they don't mm. listen to this <laughs> and so it got to the point where she stopped answering their their calls 
And yeah. so they started calling my phone, right? Yeah. And we're like, no, we're going to go. We're going to go. It doesn't matter what you say. And then they show up at our door. And the mom has like her phone with like a map showing, hey, look, it's going to take four hours to get there. It's like, okay, one, we know how to use a map. Two, why are you just showing up unannounced? Kind of big deal. Just, just to tell you not to go? Just to tell us, right? So it's like they're making a hey, point. To, well. like, I know, I know, right? They're kind of making a point like you're not going to go. And they're like hype that will do anything to kind of get their way. So mm -hmm. what was more upsetting about anything was that they they offered, they offered quote unquote, and for those who can't see this, um, <laughs> to take our our daughter, right? So mm -hmm. with them. So I go downstairs, I unlatch the, the car seat. I put in their car seat. I'm like, all right, baby, I'll see you guys when we get there, right? Mm -hmm. So then they come back up. They say, okay, now you're going to take your daughter. We're going to teach you a lesson. Right. Mm. And so this upset, obviously, my wife. It upset me because I didn't like my daughter being used as like a pawn in this little quarrel between them. Right. So I said, the hell with it. I don't even want to go anymore. I don't want to see them. They kind of just ruin all the fun. They sucked out of it. We could just do our own damn thing rather than just go and just be awkward. Right. So it was essentially, they got what they wanted. They left. And after that, I've never seen my wife so upset, like ever, like ever. So she, she like blocked them. And she never blocks her parents. Like she just like cut them off everything, everything on social media, change all the passwords because all the accounts are linked, block them for their numbers, block them for their cacao, every, everything you can think of. So they didn't speak for like three days and they just kept in contact with like her, my brother-in-law. And he was just kind of like playing like the middleman, like what's going on, yada, yada. So she's like telling him everything. He's like, well, I didn't know my parents were like that, yada, 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 so much drama. So we didn't go. So the whole weekend we were just like here. We were just here in Korea doing our own thing. No, obviously Korea. We were in Goyang, <laughs> our own yeah. thing, taking Sophie, you know, swimming, going to the pool. She loves the water. Mm. It's a perfect time. And uh, it was on Tuesday that I guess they met up and they actually just had like a nice like heart to heart. And her parents for the first time ever like apologized because they're the type that feels they're never in the wrong. It's that hierarchy thing. Like yeah. we're older, you should listen to us. You should just do as we say. And for me, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not how I was raised. We're parents. We're going to figure it along the way. We don't need you wiping our asses and holding our hands. You know, we got two kids. This isn't our first rodeo. We know what the hell we're doing. Back off. But now it's okay. They're talking again and they don't really, they're not so involved anymore. I, I think that was the biggest picture. They kind of felt like our kids were like their kids, which was kind of wrong. So they, they're learning kind of just, all right, give them their space. And so things are much smoother now. So that was my weekend in a nutshell. Family. Wow. Yeah, family, right? So, uh, yeah. yeah. But moving on to more positive things, <laughs> let's get this thing 50, going. 50% 50 of us had a good weekend. And then the other yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was all right. It was okay. Yeah, way to bring yeah. it down, dude. <laughs> no, whatever. We're going to lift it right back up. <laughs> all so right. Let's, let's, right. Let's kind of go in the past. So, we're going to talk about, well, actually, I just want to talk about uh, Jeffrey a little bit, kind of give a little background, how long you've been mm. here. Um, how long you and I have known each other, where we met. Um, let's just kind of kick off like that. So tell us a little about yourself, Jeffrey, where you're from originally, what brought you to Korea, and what have okay. you been doing ever since? Uh, so I've been in Korea for six years. I'm from Arizona in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came to Korea mostly because I had a bunch of friends here, and my older brother was stationed out here in the military. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. at the time when I was in university, I was learning all these things in Korean. And I was just like, if I, if I learn all these things and I don't put it to good use, it, it, like, what was it all this for? You know? Yep. And then I learned about like teaching and that's pretty much one thing led to another. And I found myself out here. So I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't like necessarily like planned in a way that I was like 18 and I was like, one day I'm moving to Korea. Yeah. Right. Is, as the years went by, things just started falling into place. And by the time I was graduating, I was like, oh, let's go try this out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and turned out, that, turned out great. How's mm -hmm. your Korean after six years? Oh, bro. Next question. Hard pass. I'm young. I'm No, it's okay. Like, pop a I, had, now. I always tell people, I'm like, uh, I'm not, I'm not fluent. I could speak a few words. Yeah. But I sound like I'm fluent. Oh, really? Bro, if I, if I answer that phone, bro, oh, oh, and I'm like, right. Yo, was like <laughs> bro, as soon as they say the next sentence, I'm like, sorry, I don't know Korean. <laughs> you got They're me. like, oh, I thought you were Korean. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to fake it till you make it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. much. But yeah. one thing is one thing is key that's really helped me 
Yeah. Uh, even if you don't know Korean, I always tell people, Nunchi is like, like, Nunchi, okay. if you, nunchi <laughs> is like the, the phrase for common sense. Uh, and Korean culture heavily revol- revolves around that. Yeah. So I've, always, I've been told like, oh, Japri Nunchi Mani style. Like you have a lot of Nunchi. So <laughs> you've, been, you've been able to like survive this long. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's helped me out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably my biggest regret. It's easily my biggest regret after five years in Korea is not learning Korean. So mm. like, oh, because I didn't know I was going to stay here this long, but my, right, none my, of us did. Yeah. So <laughs> right. Uh, my, my, my tip now is to people who are coming out to Korea. If you can handle the teaching job, I'm doing the quotes like Geo. If that mm-hmm. job is, you'll you'll stay because it's so easy life here other mm-hmm. than the teaching job like depends on how good your teaching job is. you get free accommodation you get your weekends you get red days you get pretty good money when you don't have to pay rent so just assume you're going to stay longer and start learning korean like that's my biggest regret uh so this uh, philosophy i'm going to take into my future countries like if i'm starting to enjoy it start making the effort mm-hmm. to learn the language because i've had issues I've had more issues this year than I've ever had about not learning Korean with my yeah. injury, with uh, banking, yeah, with uh, right. f- trying to shut my phone mm-hmm. down and all this stuff. I've had oh, I faced yeah. more language barriers this year than I've ever faced before. Yeah. It's frustrated me. When I went to the swimming pool, I took the boys about the swimming pool. That was so <laughs> embarrassing. So embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. My advice to anyone, if you're going to come to Korea, if you can handle the teaching job, you're going to stay for at least two, three years. I'm pretty much guaranteeing it. Yeah. Gia, what's yeah. next? What, what else you got to mm-hmm. say? In those six years, you've actually lived in different parts of the country, right? We met in Ilsan. Yeah. We talked the poly yeah. together. Um, from there, why don't you talk about, uh, was it Busan yeah, yeah. or close to Busan? Where, where did you live in Korea? Um, you well, so I did two years in Jamshil. And yeah. after that, I did, I moved to, Oh, sorry, sorry. Starting in Ilsan with two Mm -hmm. years. Then Mm -hmm. I moved to Jamshil for two years. Then I moved uh, to Busan for one year. Mm -hmm. And then Mm -hmm. I came back up to Socho and Itaewon. So now I'm in Itaewon now Mm -hmm. for second year. The neighbor with the Samsung guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you here too? You guys are best singles. Did you find my wallet, bro? (laughs) 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 That would have been so person. funny. <laughs> I actually yeah, found a wallet. Well it, um, yeah. it was me. He wouldn't have it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. Cops he would have called me and be like, addressed. hey, if you want your wallet back, yeah. you got to send me 200. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's 50. <laughs> yeah. have, you guys, have you guys lived in different parts of Korea? Like, did you guys get to explore around or stay yeah. in different areas for a while? Well, Where I, are you guys I, exactly? I did. Uh, I'm in Namyangju. Now. I am. Uh-huh. Uh, but <laughs> on the west side of Seoul, east side of east side of Seoul. Yeah, east side of Seoul. Uh, you're, you're east. You're east. Yeah. Uh, but mm-hmm. I lived two, basically three years in Daejeon, which is right smack bang in the middle of Korea, sort of thing. Um, mm-hmm. That's it. And Seoul. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, Busan. How did you find Busan? Living in Busan. Uh, <clears throat> I was a little bit dreamed of. Dude. I still dream of. I, still dream of. I <laughs> oh, cry myself to sleep not being there. Oh Jesus! Uh, okay. No, no, it was. Uh, I have a lot of friends in in Busan, like a lot of friends. Yeah. Really you always close did. Friends. Yeah, you always did. Yeah, so that was no. kind of always like my my end goal. Um, I was on the outskirt outskirts yeah. of Busan in a place called Yangsan. So, okay. you but it was know. it was at it was at the beginning of the pandemic. So when I, I, I was just gonna there, say, yeah. Uh, I impeccable mostly, timing yeah it was it was good because i could work like all the schools around the country were closing down oh, okay. but my school stayed open the whole time so wow. didn't close down at all it was only the beginning that where the the whole country went on lockdown yeah are, are you a I, beach person are you a coastal person do you did you like that being next uh to the beach? No, no like that wasn't really like a it was nice yeah but for me it was just the people i i met really nice people there so i i just always felt uh like it was my second home. It's a completely different yeah. atmosphere. I mean, as small as Korea is, the North versus South, like mentality, so different. Yeah, yeah. A lot more chill in Busan. Yeah. It's quite a difference in accent yet. Uh, there is. is that right? Oh, yeah. you can tell? I, I wouldn't you, notice it, but... Uh, I can tell. <laughs> really? I, I yeah. can't. No, I can't tell. <laughs> I, there's a, there's some words like like Saturi, like slang, that, I've, that I can 
point out like oh okay that person's from Busan but mm. can you tell the difference of Jim? If we got huh? Busan yeah. If you really got a Busan person talking and a Seoul person, you would tell the difference? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a New Yorker yeah, and somebody like... from like Georgia. <clears throat> yeah. Because yeah. there's um, just yeah. some words they'll more say. Like, that. Yeah. More, more, more than bigger gap, I think. So, mm-hmm. so if a uh, if, uh, Seoul person calls Jeffrey, then it's a, uh, yeah, Jeffrey, something like this. But um, mm-hmm. if it's Busan people saying, yeah, Jeffrey. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little different intonation yeah, exactly there. Right. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. You know, they have this kind of like uh um, like special intonation kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So and like like if you like divide six parts of South Korea, then they each box has their own dialects, own intonations. So oh, it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Jeju Jeju has an interesting one too. Jeju has like some wow. words. Man, bro. It's, called, it's called Mandarin. Trying to stay on air here. <laughs> 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 Controversial. <laughs> to get cancelled up in here. <laughs> Would it be the first time? It was, it was it was a good joke. Like I mean, like two three years ago, like uh, like uh, up to two three years ago, it was all like all Chinese there. He always yeah. has to say this every episode. Yeah. Every time I joke about it. <laughs> it's the Footnote. Tracks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Great. So six years in Korea. Is there anything yeah. that still surprises you about being an expat in Korea, even to this day, six years later? Mm. That's a good question. Well, I I think mm, probably something was like just feeling safe out here. Yeah. That's yeah. I'm used to it now though. But like yeah. in the beginning, I was like three in the morning walking yeah, it's a little too safe like, what is going uh, on? like it's like twilight zone yeah it's yeah. true i'm a bit worried about yeah. how safe i've been and not um what's the word about going to vietnam like you know like i could be so lazy with my safetyness mm-hmm. yeah, yeah i'm a bit oh, worried about yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go to vietnam once for one month so i'm like oh my god <laughs> you know and it's even okay. like the Pretty other one i should have said it but uh it's a bit embarrassing but how bathrooms are everywhere in korea even the train station bathrooms are quite clean have toilet yeah. paper here in korea uh, even though like the compared to other countries even compared to australia like there's a bathroom nearly everywhere here in korea if you have to go um uh, i'm not sure yeah, if it doesn't have like a key code on it oh uh, yeah but you can get the key code but, <laughs> but still, <laughs> still it, it has doors yeah it sounds but, like kb speaking from yeah. trauma yeah, I, 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 the key I, thing is that there is a bathroom everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> because back at home, uh, what happened, bro? I feel like you're opening a door here. Yeah, he is. Well, some foods just go straight through me. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. On to the, my next question. Yeah. Accidents. No, I haven't had an accident. I survived. In Korea, I survived. Yeah. Mm. Uh, All right. But I was curious. Um, yeah. Oh, here's yeah. a fun fact about me in oh. Korea before we move on. I've never have gotten like sick from like drinking here in Korea. Like I've never got to the point where I got thrown up. Yeah. The most, yeah, I've never threw up in Korea. Yeah. That's my one of never have I ever in Korea. I've gotten drunk mm-hmm. so many times, but never to the point where I had to. What about up. hangovers? Oh, Ooh, that was last episode or a couple of episodes ago. You have hangovers, but you don't throw up? Bro. No, I, I get hangover after this glass of wine. I'm gonna have a hangover tomorrow. <laughs> Word. Yeah, uh, I'm old now. Speaking of which, you are turning 30 this year, are you not, Jeffrey? I I am. I am. Next month, yes. Yes, wow. the 30s. Welcome to the club, <laughs> ladies. Claim them while they're hot before they get too old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm turning 30. Any mm. birthday plans for the big 30? Uh, I just want to eat some. Delicious Korean barbecue. Have you guys been oh, to the restaurant Semao yeah. Shikang? Oh my god. This used to be a spot we used to visit when I was working with Gio, but I've managed to spend like four birthdays at that restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I know. I really like did. I made it a thing where I'm like, yo, I want to spend my birthday at this very normal Korean restaurant. The yes. chain restaurant, but it's so good. They should have a yeah. table ready for you this year then. Yeah, then. Yeah, he's fine. What are your so favorite I, Korean foods apart from the barbecue? What else? That was my like? next question. Yep. Oh, what are sorry. your favorite dishes? No, uh, everybody can chime in. Dude. Okay. Okay. Unpopular opinion. 
Yeah. Pongo su pongo su papaga. Do you guys know that? The rice burgers? It's uh, like oh rice yeah, burgers. high school papaga, food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there used to be one down or downstairs from your old place, yeah. BYC. Yeah. Or, yeah. So bongo su papaga, pizza school's good, and then Korean barbecue, um pigskin. What is it? Pigskin. All right. Oh, chicharron? No, chicharron. Yeah, a, is that, is yeah, that what it is? Chicharron, chicharron, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a koptegi. Yeah, koptegi. Right? Yeah, it goes uh, great with soju. Mm. You can handle your spice. Mm. Do you guys like um oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the, the name. It's dried pollock. It's like Anju. It's okay. uh Mokte. Mokte, that's my dude. Yeah. That one <laughs> that one right there. Yeah, that's Mokte is bomb. Yeah. I gotta yeah. Google that, I gotta look that up. Is that the dried squid? Yeah. Uh, uh it's, dried it's like a dried off. fish. Yeah. The fish is like like yeah. it looks like jerky, but it's fish and you dip it in uh mayo like and mayonnaise. soy sauce, yeah, right? And jalapenos mayo, in it. Soy, yeah. Is that is that yeah, can you get best. that in that special uh oh, don't even know the name street? Oh, it could be so random, but like a chicken sort of street where there's chairs on the street and uh, yeah yeah some restaurants that serve chicken and then there's like pubs most pubs yeah. will have it yeah, 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 well, yeah. i thought there's like a little popular con- I-, I should research but th- never mind move on sorry uh <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. what is a wrap up yeah it's all right yeah no it's fine there's like yeah. the really cool corner where everyone's on the street from all the different pubs and they're yeah. eating the fried fish and chicken and beer and soldier it's in downtown seoul but i can't think of the area but, yeah, yeah they'll most likely have it yeah yeah almost every pub has mokte pretty much nice yeah almost every social place is too yeah you guys haven't tried it Gio, you haven't tried it mokte? i probably have i just don't know mm. the name you know i mean i eat everything i That's try it. these at least once mm. i have um you know oh there is actually a sushi place that just opened right by me i know most of them are going on but this sushi place was actually opened by our former vice director she uh-huh. left our school and she's like, you know what? I'm just opening my own sushi restaurant. Her husband came over and I was like, I have so many questions. One, is it a rotating sushi bar? I love rotating sushi bars. He's like, yes, absolutely. So this weekend, since I forgot about it, but the drama, they actually had their grand opening event. So it was just like oh, a private party, oh, okay. right? Private so party. Photos, yeah? So yeah, I brought my family yeah. and we must've had like 20 plus <laughs> plates just stacked. Nice. A couple of bottles of beer, service everything was free everything was calm wow right i, I, I know <laughs> everything well it was just sure. for like private yeah guests stuff like that but all yeah. of our old co-workers we all kind of came just kind of hung out and just had a jolly old time and it was probably some of the best fresh sushi i've ever eaten what was your like, favorite super delicious there's this one it was kind of like what is that called the, the little eggs like the salmon eggs what is that called uh yeah, you know what i'm talking about the little orange balls you know those yeah, tiny yeah. little balls yes yes, um, yes some kind of like salmon roll whatever and it was like mixed with this like chamchi spicy mayo sauce and like wrapped in seaweed on a bit of rice. It was oh, it was really good. Yeah. That and anything with just shrimp on it, like fresh shrimp. I can't eat the raw shrimp. It's too little, too gooey mm. for me, too slimy. Mm. Um, but I tried everything this once. It was oh, heavenly, heaven in my mouth. If we were to spend right twenty four hours in Seoul, right? We've all here lived here long enough. We already know the hot spots. We talked about all these different types of destinations, dishes, <laughs> things we'd like to frequent especially mm. pre-pandemic times. If you were in Seoul for 24 hours, you just had a layover, what are some like maybe the top three to four things you would do in Seoul? Who wants to go first? I've made a little list myself, but does anybody want to take it away? I'll start it. That's okay, uh, no, let's just, let's uh, just do it. Let's I, I it. could think of I could think of two things. If I had a layover, I would definitely eat Korean barbecue. It's a yeah. must. And then Jim yes. Jilbang. Yes. That's no, where you would catch me, right. Jim Ji Bang. Probably oh, the yes. one in, probably the one in Yongsan, the biggest one that has like everything inside of it. Dragon Hill? Yeah, the Dragon yeah. One. Yeah, <laughs> we all know it. Dragon I, Hill? Dude, yeah. that, those those <laughs> be having like restaurants, PC bangs in there, like everything, bro. Everything. Yeah. Gyms. Yeah. yeah. Jim Ji Jim Ji Bang would be the ultimate experience, I think. Yeah, I would definitely, especially the nightlife. You got a bar hop, like especially when everything's open, mm-hmm. summertime, where like Keith was saying, all the red tables are out. Mm-hmm. I like the places that have like the fresh like fish, like in the tanks swimming around. You get to like, pick like the one that you want and have it as fresh as it can get, especially uh, eel, like live eel with like skinning it and chopping it up right before your very eyes. Mm-hmm. That's definitely my favorite. All the, the little tents where you can kind of bop around, just drink all the soju and beer. Definitely the Jim Jabong. And I end the night with a Nore Bong yeah. till like the sun mm-hmm. comes up. 
I miss the Noribang so much. <laughs> they must be coming back soon. Karaoke yeah. for days. What about you, Hyuk? I feel like every single day is like yeah, <laughs> great night for you. I mean, like <laughs> I, I was I was doing this simulation in my head, and then like okay, probably like I will land in Incheon in like uh, night time, mm-hmm. like eight a.m. or uh, Ooh, specifics. I like 9. it. Okay. Yeah. So um, if I land in Incheon, then I will take the airport train to Hongdae. Okay. And then I will enjoy the yeah. And then I will enjoy the buskings at the Hongdae area, and then going to club. Yeah. And after it, like I, I have to go to the the finest club in the Korea, the Gangnam area. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, and then you enjoy your night. Uh, if you can hook up with someone, then you know <laughs> you can lay your ass for like decent time in a hotel, and then yeah. wake up. Must be okay. Yeah, it's twenty-four hours must gone. Be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? No, it's it's, it's just a power twelve nap. hours now. <laughs> 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 like, I'm at twelve, 12 hours. hours now. I thought lost ago. at the hotel. Yeah, for... <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta you gotta uh, you gotta enjoy the uh, Kongnamu Gukbap right there <laughs> for the uh, mm-hmm. uh, breakfast and the uh, hangover cure as well. Right. And then you go to Jongro area to have a like decent Korean barbecue and then go to Incheon, mm. the uh, Chinese town in Incheon. Yeah, in Chinatown. A, I heard that's a popular yeah. spot. That's next to my list. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is great, yeah. And then have this like Korean style jajangmyeon yeah, and then you go to your you know plane and leave this country out. That's the perfect plan. Sounds well good. done, I like yeah, that. Well, I'm gonna write you that guys down. rehearsed these questions. I really use rehearses. <laughs> well, I didn't know we're doing this. <laughs> it's all scripted. <laughs> uh, That's great. Very detailed. I was I was I was just doing this simulation. If I was you know if I know the country and then come in come and go for one hour. For layover yeah. or subover, then yeah, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have I have few plans for like Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia. Mm. Um, yeah, That's cool. those those kind of countries are good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I definitely are. have the barbecue for sure, and I'd probably start off in the morning. My breakfast would be either Isaac toast or egg drop. And then <laughs> I right. oh, yeah. yeah. drop. Yeah. And then I'll probably do something good. touristy, something cultural, like either not the palace, but maybe something like walk up like where Hock Jun went, one of those little hikes, check out the palace, get some photos. Um maybe you gang them. The book? maybe gang them for lunch. I haven't really sp- I think I've spent <laughs> maximum three days in gang them in my whole time here. Like so maybe go check out oh, the gang them. Really? Yeah. And oh. Play dinner and party in Ete one and have a kebab. <laughs> oh, yeah, the egg. You can't go wrong with the kebab. Next yeah. guy yeah. is yeah. addicted to kebabs. Yeah. He loves kebabs. That's where I start and end, bro. In Deja, yeah. there was no kebab shops. That's why it just built, built my um love for them. Yeah. <laughs> These are very well thought out uh, itineraries. I mean, mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I applaud that. That was you included the time plate buffering in between your transportation. That was that was really good. That's good. Definitely good. Great. <laughs> what is layover in Korean? Are you asking um, me? Actually, oh. no. <laughs> no. Hi, bro. The only what? Korean, <laughs> the only Korean guy in here. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we actually we don't have the, the uh, right word. So yeah. we just call it layover. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jeffrey could have answered yeah, that. Like, then. Korean, <laughs> no, it's a it's a Korean style pronunciation. You know? Lay over. Lay over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you, or, Jeffrey, uh, is there over. any Korean words that you use that people need to know? Uh, no, but I I have a joke. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, okay, all right. I got two actually, but I'll. Well, Jeffrey uh, already ready for this? got a span in China, so don't worry about that. So yeah, that's it's fine. okay. All right, here we go. Some okay. of my students didn't laugh, but I, I think it'll hit with uh, right. more sophisticated folks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the the robot's favorite Korean dish? Robot's favorite Korean dish. Then I. What is it? Ready? Yeah. Bibimbap. 
<laughs> Shut the. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah, it was the other one. That. I'm gonna say that. No, my too. my other one is just like uh, it's not really like a, it's it's when I'm teaching because uh, a lot of the times I'm like students, what did you guys do? And they always say I go, and I'm like I go, I go. <laughs> like, oh, I went, I went. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, please don't speak Korean. And they're like, what? Yeah. All right, well, this wraps our episode for today. Jeff, we want to thank you for coming on and uh, hanging Appreciate out with it. us, enjoying some good stories and laughs. Um, you're more than welcome to come back anytime. We'd love to have you. Uh, thank you, thank you. No, so I, I, uh, I stream games. I play a lot of games, and then I also do art on my stream. So if you guys want to come by and Ooh. hang out and enjoy a cup of vibes, as I like to say on the stream, uh, you guys can find me on Twitch and it is totally free to watch. So you don't have to worry about like, well, you have to, if you sign up, you can chat with uh, other people as well. Yeah. And yeah, meet That's some cool. really nice people. So right. feel free to come through. Jill uh, will. Um, how can I, how can I find you? Good question. Yeah. On the search yeah. bar, if you type in my username, it is respect player. Ooh. Now, <laughs> this might be a little bit tricky because respect has. I put three E's in the middle. Ooh, so what's that? Oh, okay. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how you pronounce it. <laughs> that was like a word I would always say, like respect. So yep. just oh, put yeah. some info in our yeah. description. Our description. Yeah. yeah, that'll be easier for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah it's been awesome talking to you. We will try to get you back a bit more often. I think yeah. I think I like Oh yeah, anytime. That's right. You yeah, can drink the fourth like beer. We've been looking for four for Manu. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, wipe off, just blow off That's the right. dust. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, anytime. Okay, it's done it. now, so um, yeah, hop in. Perfect. Well, thank you all to our listeners. As always, follow us on our social media sites and tune in next week. Thanks for listening. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank Take you. Care. See ya. Bye. Have a good day.